This video is sponsored by Skillshare. Okay, so just to clear the air, this headphone from Apple is really expensive. The materials used on the AirPods Max are truly premium and it gives off a very expensive look. Especially when you get the chevron watermelon combo, this thing looks beautiful. The bandit is incredibly robust, the rods are stainless steel with a precision extraction mechanism that Apple calls the telescope and arms. They smoothly extend and stays where you set them. There's no clicking or rattling when adjusting the arms, it's just so satisfying. The ear cushions are somewhat comfy, it has this woven texture on top and below is like a memory foam. I personally like the Sony XM4's ear cuffs better because the leather material to me has more of a cushion feeling. But I love the fact that we could easily swap out the ear cups on the AirPods Max thanks to the magnetic rings under the ear cups. It definitely feels and looks like a $500 headphone. But there's a few trade-offs. It's mainly made of stainless steel and anodized aluminum which is rarely found on headsets because they add tons of weight. No one wants to have a brick on their head all day. When I weighed my AirPods Max on a scale compared to my Sony XM4s, the AirPods Max came in at 385 grams versus the Sony XM4 at 250 grams. Now that's very important to note because if you like to use over ear headphones while working out, the AirPods Max is definitely not going to be the most comfortable ones to use with all that weight on your head. And just in case if you're wondering, if you wear glasses like myself, you won't have any issues at all. So to counter the weight issue, Apple implemented this mesh canopy to compensate for like the weight of the headphone. I kind of like it instead of the generic leather headband everyone uses. I sometimes worry about the durability though, but it has been over four months now and nothing has torn the holes or anything. It's perfectly fine. There's also little or no articulation present here, meaning you can't fold the ear cups inwards on themselves, which making traveling with them not as easy like we'd find on rival headphones like the Bose QC lineups or the Sony MX lineups. So yeah, you have to use that smart case, which I'll talk about soon. Switching on over to the controls, these are the best I've seen on any headphones. The digital crown feels almost exactly like an Apple Watch crown with perhaps a bit more tension and a satisfying software click when scrubbing through the volume levels. The Siri functions work totally fine. I'm not a big Siri type of person, but it does what it's supposed to do. Whether it's a long press on the crown or a Siri. The headphone has precision precision sensing so that you could pause by simply lifting off a cup or taking off the headphones entirely. At times it does get annoying if you want to like scratch your ear then it pauses the music. The only other button is to toggle between ANC levels. You have the noise cancelling mode which eliminates all the outside noise and also a transparency mode which is the opposite and that mode lets in sound so you could hear what's going on around you. You can also use that same button to pair between other Bluetooth devices if you're also curious. Taking off the headphones and leaving them just to sit, somewhat turn them off but there's like no power button. This feels super natural and feels like something Apple would do. Just put them on to use them and take them off to stop. Apple says you get one and a half hours for a five minute of charging but there's no general fast charge here. It's basically two hours with any USB block regardless of power. I still feel like there should have been a power off feature if the headphone hasn't been playing media for a while. That would have saved the headache of me being have to charge the headphone every night or two. It kind of gets annoying that most times I take up the AirPods Max, the battery is always low. I want to take this time out to thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. For those of you guys who have been watching this channel for a while, you know I'm truly passionate about personal development and building new skills in everyday life and Skillshare is a fantastic resource for both of those things. Skillshare has a wide variety of classes ranging from creativity to productivity. The class I'm currently hooked on is a video editing class with Final Cut Pro 10 from Ali Abdal who is actually a well-known YouTuber. I've been using my M1 Mac for about 2-3 weeks now and this class is really helping me to edit in Final Cut 10. I love watching classes on Skillshare because everything is just set up so professionally, there's no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. 
Skillshare has a ton of beneficial classes available, guys. So if there's anything you always wanted to learn or get better at, then Skillshare is the perfect place to start learning. Skillshare is also really affordable with an annual subscription costing just under $10 a month. And of course, you guys know I got you. So the first 1,000 people who click the link down below in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership so you guys could go out and start exploring your creativity. And thanks again, Skillshare, for sponsoring today's video. So you remember I was talking about that case, right? The case to me isn't bad. I think it looks great and it's also small enough to fit in any of my puffer jackets. I think Apple wants us to embrace the AirPods Max when not in use by carrying it like a little purse. But while walking, I think I would rather have the headphone on and not in the case. So yeah, I don't really know. It's kind of weird. It's called a smart case because when you put the AirPods Max inside the case, it goes into this ultra low power mode that saves way more battery than just leaving the AirPods Max out the case. But where I think the case is dumb now is that it doesn't really provide any real protection for the AirPods Max. The iPad Magic keyboard material they use on the case makes it so easy to pick up dust, but I've been keeping mine spick and spank for the past couple months. Now moving on to the most important thing of the headphone and that's the sound. And what do you expect me to say? It sounds bad? No. The sound is awesome. Don't worry about it being like super beats region of bass, although there are plenty of bass in this thing. It's a more nuanced affair with a crisp delivery across the spectrum. I watched movies, listened to music and had phone conversation. Everything sounded great. The spatial audio function, for example, is greatly improved with the larger drivers and the closed environment. Audio panning and positioning of Atmos content is done very smartly and if you're watching from an iOS device, it really feels like you're in a large sound environment with strong central positioning on the screen. It's crazy. They feel like you're listening in a room without headphones. It's really impressive. You turn your head to the left, you could hear the audio. It's just really crazy how Apple implemented this technology in this headphone. But think about it, for a price of $500, it better be doing some supernatural stuff. The active noise cancelling is the best I've ever heard and knocks the Sony XM4 out of the park. Well, maybe not knock out the park, but Apple's ANC sounds better to me personally. I can literally hear my heart beating whenever I enable noise cancelling, all the white noise is gone, and the transparency mode feels and sounds even better than in real life. When you're talking to someone else, it doesn't sound robotic or muffled, thanks to those 8 microphones at work. But at the end of the day, I think the AirPods Max are for people who always wanted an over-ear headphone from Apple and didn't want Beats. The AirPods Max has a more sophisticated, luxury look to it and trust me, when you're wearing these, you feel confident and in charge. It's just still a little difficult for me to recommend the AirPods Max when lights of the Sony XM4s are out there. I've used both and while I could say the build quality Apple's ecosystem, the special audio, the sound quality, all of that is really nice on the AirPods Max. They are kind of heavy and they aren't that much better in my opinion compared to the Sony XM4 to justify that $200 plus price tag. But that's just my experience and at the end of the day, just buy whatever you want to buy.